Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use Flux AI model on your Mac system without going into trouble and spend a lot of time searching and finding out how you can actually install and use an AI model like Flux AI. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So the steps are really, really simple. The only thing that we need to do is install a really good software. This is the Flux AI website which is blackforestlabs.ai I will attach this link into the description so you can check out and found out all about this AI model so the software that we are going to use is Diffusion B so this website is particularly for Mac operating system which is a really good software and you can just download and use it so let's go and see what's going on I hit the download for Mac and I will be redirected to this page so you can use it for Mac OS Apple Silicon with M1 M2 and m3 chips also you can use it for mac os intel with 64 bit and also for windows 64 bit and the windows version is still not released so i have a macbook pro m1 with 60 gigabytes of ram so let's try it out i'm going to click on mac apple silicon and it will start the download but i'm not going to download the software from here i'm going to go to the github repository in the GitHub top repository you also can see a big button here download for mac os but please do not download it from here because sometimes they forgot to add the latest version into this button so you can come here and it says 22 releases i will just hit this and in here i can see that the version 2.5.3 the latest version has a support for flux.1 ma generation models so this is only for ARM 64 and Mac OS 13 plus so keep that in mind for the requirements and also here I can see that this version is for my MacBook so Division B MPS ARM 64 so I will click on this and the download shall be started all right now I have access to this the only thing that I need to do is just to double click on this and just drag and drop this into my application that's it because I already installed this fantastic software I'm not going to do that so you just do it on your own and after this I am pretty much good to go so let's open up the software all right now after installing this software I can open it and I can see all of these AI tools which is really good to try out but I'm going to show you the flux model so I will scroll down and come here and here I can click on open into the flux model as you can see I already installed the model but for the first time when you come to this page you will see a download notification which will tell you that you have to download the flux AI model which you can just hit the download button and the download will get started after a few moments which is depend on your internet speed you will have access to flux AI model and from that moment you can generate fantastic images on your your own MacBook machine so I'm going to show you some images that I created myself so I'm going to scroll down as you can see these are really good images with good quality also flux AI model is known for being good at printing and showing text into the images it didn't did a good job into this image but let's move on so here you can see all of these really good images for example this one is really good and the list continues i'm going to give you a tip how you can for example generate this beautiful image with your own prompt so i'm actually going to introduce a really good website which you can find really good prompt for image generation with flux ai model so the website is prompthero.com which 
I will attach the link into the description. And here you can see the Flux tab, which you can find the specific prompt, which for example, generated these images. So I can come here and copy this prompt and go back to my Diffusion B and paste it here. And I will generate it with this button. So the image generation will take a few seconds. For example, for my case, it will take around 20 to 25 seconds because I choose the resolution to be at 1024 to 1216, which is considered to be a high resolution for my computer because I only have 16 gigabytes of RAMs, which will take a few seconds to be generated. Another cool thing about this software is that I can just come back here and maybe choose another image. For example, this one, which also has some text into it. I copy this and I can just just remove the old one and add the new one and after that I can click on add to queue button which will create a queue for me and will generate the image after the first one that I pass okay all right now the image has been generated so I'm going to censor a little bit of this image because it's not a really good one but let's see what's going on with this one all right until this image is going to be generated I'm going to tell you all about this so you can choose the model from here. I also can download the dev version. I downloaded the Chanel version, which is considered a better model, but I'm not sure if you know that which model is better, just please send me a comment and let me know. So from here, I can choose the resolution. And also from here, I can choose the number of images. So also from here, I can choose some style, which I can add to my images. So now, as you can see, this is the image that I just created with this fantastic software, which is says Flux NF4 is awesome, which it really is. So guys, that was it. I hope you liked this tutorial and you can enjoy Flux AI model on your MacBook machine. If you had any question about this, just add a comment below this video. I will try to help you out. See you on the next one.